Hi, welcome to another video from the Market Outlook. In today's video, we'll be looking at a trade recap of PayPal and Peloton. So what we have here is the PayPal chart, the 40 time frame. And the reason why I did a 40 time frame is because I think it can give us a more succinct trade summary of why we entered into the PayPal trade. And if you do want a more full in-depth technical analysis breakdown of the PayPal trade, um, do check out this link. I'll put it in the screen here. So essentially, we entered into the PayPal trade and we were long bias because for PayPal, it broke a very crucial resistance zone. And this resistance zone has been very well respected. In the past few occasions and when it broke above along with the EMA support we entered into two core options I flash the core options right here so you can see from the snapshot we enter into a PayPal core option expiring 20th August so I don't like to go too far or too short two to three months window for my swing trades are ideal for me and also the options are at a 300 strike. So the reason why I chose a 300 strike is because I don't like to go with a too far of the money option. I prefer to go with a 10% out of the current trading price. So at that point of time, the price was at $277 and about a 10% would be a $300. It nicely confluence with the next resistance zone, which you can see over here, the rectangle I've drawn. And that's why I chose a strike of 300. And you can see that the whole total cost of that trade was about 1,500 USD. So upon entering that call trade, we can see RSI has also given us very strong confluence. We are very confident in a high probability setup for this bullish trade. Of course, not everything is for sure, for certain, but this is a high probability setup and we enter into a bullish call option. And prices move in our favor. You can see price action being very well respected with this 9 day EMA line, this yellow line, and you can see that price action as it grinded higher. I took off one position at $286 and another position at $293. Why did I exit? The re exit reasons for that is because I saw RSI being overbought and also in the hourly time frame, I saw RSI being overbought as well. So the two time frames showing overbought conditions led me to believe that I should be taking out and locking out my profits. Of course, if you just look at the 40 time frame, I think there's still reasons for you to hold on to a call option. And probably I should have been more patient in holding on to my call option for PayPal on my last call option. And the reason is because the 9 day EMA has been holding up very well and it's not been broken yet. So if you're still holding on to PayPal, what I recommend is if you can lock in some profits, I think that would be great. And you can let the rest continue run higher. So a 50% return over three days is not bad. So that's for the PayPal for so that is for the PayPal trade. And uh, the next one we'll look at is Peloton. So Peloton is not that ideal. And the reason is being because although we did a very good technical analysis of Peloton and we did enter into a position, however, we did make a loss on Peloton. And let me break down why. So essentially, when we're doing a technical analysis on Peloton, we were having a very bullish setup when prices were trading at this candle over here. If I zoom in. If you look at this candle over here, we were very bullish on this setup because support zone was holding very well, EMAs were holding very well. So for Peloton, we entered into two call options, expiring in 17 September and a strike of 140. So the reason why I did a strike of 140 was because I was looking at this crucial resistance zone. But of course, I think my mistake over here is that I got too greedy. I went too far of the money and when prices don't go accordingly to your biasness, Far out of the money, cautions tend to depreciate and lose its value much faster. So when I entered into this 140 caution, it was a mistake because I should have stuck to my rules and entered into a caution at about $125, which was a 10% out of the money option for me. And that would have worked better and given me a psychological edge as well. So if we look at this price action, you can see very clearly that when we enter into this caution, price action did not go according to what we wanted to. Instead, it broke through the EMAs, and that is when I exited into my call options with a loss of $292. I held on to one call option. So that was one thing I did. I did not panic sell. So I held on to one more call option, and I sold the other at a loss of 292 USD. And that was a mistake from the start because my call option was already wrongly bought. In my mind, I was thinking that when I closed my call option, I thought that price action was not going to go accordingly and I was managing my risk by taking one off out of the table first and leaving the other call option there. 
So of course, price action immediately brought back up. And you can see a very nice bounce off this EMA over here with this candle. And you can see prices continue to grind higher. Also, you can see that RSI is also good, continue to grind higher. And it's coding very well above the 50 level. So for this trade for Peloton, even though we did a very good technical analysis, we were right in our bullish setup. However, we did not have the right trading psychology from the beginning. And it's a good lesson for me to not be too greedy and go for the 140. So this landed me a loss of $277. So in terms of percentage, I lost about 27 to 30%. So looking at this, I think it's a good lesson to learn to stick to your rules. And even though you might have a very good trading setup and everything might work out well, if you don't stick to your rules and follow through with good trade management, you will fuck up in the end. And that's what it is. That's it for my trade setup. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I try not to be too windy about it, but essentially those were good lessons. I hope you took some value away from it as well. So if you enjoyed this video, do leave a like for this video. And if you want more of this content, do remember to subscribe to the channel. So take care and stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.